Hello everyone, Eddie the Magic Monk here. Welcome to another problem solving question. This problem involves a lot of concepts including um, simultaneous equations, quadratic equations, speed equals distance over time, all that stuff. So it should be a fun question. Feel free to have a go at it first if you like and come back when you're done. So, um, David walks a kilometer per hour faster than Jill. David completes a 20 kilometer hike one hour before Jill. What are their walking speeds? So there are two people here. Okay, let's deal with David first. David um, completes a 20 kilometer hike. Okay, so if you guys are familiar with the equation, S equals D over T basically means speed equals distance over time. So we got David's speed equals um, however much distance he completed over how much time it take it took for him to complete it. So we also have Jill. So let's use a different color for Jill. Jill and we've already used S, so I'm going to call it S2 for Jill equals D2 over T2 for Jill. Because they both complete um, a, a track. So I have two different situations. Now let's go back to David. He completes a 20 kilometer hike. So instead of D, I can just write 20. So S equals 20 over t and then with Jill um, what is the distance that she covered it's also 20 right because the problem says that well this sort of insinuates that they both complete a 20 kilometer hike so instead of d2 I also have 20 okay so now I got rid of two of the variables and now let's see if we can get rid of any other variables. It says that um, David walks one kilometer faster than Jill. So whatever Jill's speed is, David is one kilometer faster. So this part here is saying that um, David's speed, which is S, let me write that in yellow. S is um, Jill speed plus one. All right, because whatever Jill speed is, add one to it, and that's David's speed. So I'm going to put that here instead of S. So I'm going to put that here. I'm going to put S2 plus one equals 20 over T. So now. How many variables do we have? We have S2, we have T, and we have T2. So now we have two equations and three variables. Let's see if we can get rid of any vari any more variables. Um, now it's got uh, David completes the hike one hour before Jill. So that means whatever Jill's time is, okay, whatever Jill's time is, uh, minus one will give you David's time, right? So now we can eliminate another variable. So instead of t, I'm going to write t2 minus one. So s2 plus one equals 20 over t2 minus one. So now I have two equations and two variables, which means I can solve them. Okay, so how do we solve it? Well, we got to make something the subjects and then substitute it into the other equation. So let's um, substitute 20 over T2 into where S2 is in the other equation. So now I have 20 over T2 plus 1 equals um, 20 over T2 minus 1. All right, so very um, difficult right now, uh, but we should be able to do it. So let's multiply both sides by 
uh, wait. If we multiply both sides by t2, then I will get. If I multiply both sides by t2, then what I'll get is t2 times 20 over t2 will get rid of the t2, so I have 20 plus, and then t2 times 1 will be t2 um, equals 20t2 over t2 minus 1. And now if I multiply both sides by t2 minus 1, so if I multiply both sides by t2 minus 1, oops, minus 1, and multiply this by t2 minus 1, then I will get 20t2 equals, and if I expand this out, okay, awesome way, so 20t2 uh, plus t2 squared minus 20 minus t2 equals 20t2. So let's just uh, try and so, uh, simplify this. So move everything to the left. The 20t2 will cancel out with the 20t2. So I have t2 squared minus t2 minus 20 equals zero. And I have a quadratic equation. So this looks pretty simple. I just need to think of two numbers that multiply to give me negative 20 but add together to give me negative 1. So I'm guessing that will be uh, minus 5 and plus 4. Alright, plus 4. So negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. Um, and then 4t2 minus 5t2 will be negative t2. So t2 is equal to 5 or negative 4, right, after we solve the equation. So time cannot be negative, right? So therefore, this negative 4 is out. So time for um, t2 was Jill's time. So Jill's time equals uh, five. Um, what did we say? Five hours. Now, which means Jill's speed must be equal to twenty divided by five. 20 divided by 5, which is 4 kilometers per hour. And then um, we have the other guy. We got David is 1 kilometer per hour faster than Jill. So David is equal to 4 plus 1, which is 5 kilometers per hour. And this works because if he go, walks at 5 kilometers per hour, he will finish the 20 kilometer trip in uh, 4 hours, which is 1 hour less than Jill, which is what the problem said. Okay, so I hope this has helped you guys a little bit instead of uh, confusing you more. Thanks for watching. See you next time.